Treatment of trauma-induced coagulopathy is often guided by viscoelastic hemostatic assays, such as rotational thrombolastometry, or ROTEM. These assays serve as point-of-care coagulation tests that allow for rapid assessment of the coagulation cascade, where accumulation of platelets and the formation of a fibrin clot occur to limit the amount of blood lost. However, Currently used rotum-based treatment algorithms are constructed based on the need for transfusion instead of on coagulation deficiencies. As a result, the specific coagulation deficiencies underlying rotum derangements remain unknown. Testing the hypothesis that rotum derangements reflect specific coagulation factor deficiencies after trauma the authors examined the association between deranged rotum profiles, coagulation factor levels, markers of fibrinolysis, and mortality in 1,828 trauma patients from six European trauma centres. Coagulation factors, fibrinolysis, and mortality were compared between seven deranged rotum profiles and a normal rotum group. Results revealed that 40% of patients exhibited rotum derangements, frequently consisting of a combined decrease in XTEM and FibTEM clot amplitude at 5 minutes. All rotum derangements, except for isolated prolongation of XTEM clotting time, were associated with increased mortality and depletion of coagulation factors, especially fibrinogen and factor 5. Notably, Coagulation deficiencies were most pronounced in groups with multiple rotum derangements. Increased fibrinolysis may also be present after 30 minutes, when XTEM and FibTEM clot amplitude at 5 minutes are both deranged despite a normal lysis index. Rotum derangements have the potential to reflect specific in vivo coagulation deficiencies that are clinically relevant and associated with adverse outcomes. Results from this study improve our understanding of rotum derangements in a trauma setting.